we want to find the derivative function given f of x equals x cubed times e to the power of 4.5x. The first thing to notice here is because we have a product of two functions of x, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation in order to find f prime of x. Looking at the notes on the right, the product rule is stated as the derivative of u times v with respect to x equals u times v prime plus v times u prime, indicating the derivative is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Using this formula, notice u, the first function, is x cubed, and v, the second function, is e to the power of 4.5x. Let's go ahead and set up the derivative function. We have f prime of x equals u, where the first function of x cubed, times v prime, which is the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of e to the power of 4.5x, which we'll determine in the next step plus v, or the second function of e to the power of 4.5x, times u prime, which is the derivative of the first function, or the derivative of x cubed. For the next step, we differentiate here and here, and then simplify if we can. To differentiate e to the power of 4.5x, we need to apply the chain rule. Look at the formulas on the right. The exponent is not just x, and therefore we use the formula here on the far right, which states the derivative of e to the power of u with respect to x equals e to the u times u prime. Where in our case, notice u is the exponent of 4.5x, and therefore u prime is equal to 4.5. So f prime of x is equal to x cubed times the derivative of e to the power of 4.5x is equal to e to the u, or e to the power of 4.5x times u prime, which is times 4.5, and then plus e to the power of 4.5x times the derivative of x cubed, which is just 3x squared. Let's go ahead and write the derivative function as f prime of x equals 4.5x cubed e to the power of 4.5x plus 3x squared times e to the power of 4.5x. So this is fine for the derivative function, but notice how we can also factor this. The greatest common factor between these two terms, or these two products, would be x squared e to the power of 4.5x. Let's also show this in factored form. Again, the greatest common factor is x squared e to the power of 4.5x. Factoring this from the first product, we're left with 4.5x plus factoring x squared e to the power of 4.5x from the second product, we're left with just three. Either of these last two forms are acceptable for the form of the derivative function. I hope you found this helpful.